Hi everyone, Kelly Bear here and welcome to another video. Um, I have a walkthrough for you today, as you will know from the title, obviously. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I've been, uh, I'm, I'm done. Oh no, hang on, what's happened there? The box has gotten a little squished. I think that was when the delivery guy was trying to wedge it through my letterbox. Um, so uh, it's okay, it's fixable. Um, but yeah, I did a, a gift swap, or I'm doing a gift swap because I haven't sent my gift yet um, uh, with a, a friend and uh, the lovely Renato. And um, I he wanted to make sure that this arrived before I sent my thing. So uh, yeah. Uh, it arrived, arrived at the weekend, and I've been really, really restrained. So I, I did take the plastic covering off of the um, the box, but I did not take the actual deck, ooh, the actual deck itself, out of the, uh, the the strength pack that it's in. Um, but yeah, it's uh, the it's the part of the Los Garabayo, um You know, they do these these limited runs of uh, slightly fancier nice more nicely packaged higher quality cardstock um, uh, um historical decks so this is a, a soap profino i can't remember if they do a vichetta i know they did a, a, a minchiati there's a whole bunch of them now but once they've gone they're gone so i'm really lucky to get a copy of this this was um I mentioned in a previous video, I think it was the live chat that I did last week or the week before, I can't remember when that was, um, that, I, I, that I had a Vachetta or a version of the Vachetta, which is the, um, the Tower of the Master, which is a mass market deck as well, and um, but that I did not have a Soap Profino. And uh, Renato was like, well, we need to fix that. And very kindly offered to send me send me this so yeah it's um there's a little sort of um it's a little white book but it's got a cardboard cover to make it a little bit more fancy i think and a bit more sturdy and we've got a color picture here because usually they're just in black and white and the quality of paper is different to the usual sort of little white book it's got more of a not a, a semi-gloss feel um and it's got this sort of antique look to it so i haven't actually read this i did i I'm, i've just remembered I'm, I'm i meant to have read this beforehand before starting this video but what i'll do is i'll i'll read this before i do start filming the top down it, just so I'm a little bit more informed but yeah so uh, this is what we're going to have a look at and uh, well let's let's dive in shall we so hello and uh, here we are with the uh, the Tarocco Soprofino it's the Los Carabeo Anima Antica range I think uh, it's number 263 out of 2999 um, and then it does say here on the back that um, in order to preserve the original feeling of these ancient images, I wouldn't call them ancient, but okay. <laughs> to me, ancient is like, I don't know, 2000 plus years old. Uh, the cards have not been treated with chemical varnish and as a result, they might not be suitable for shuffling. Um, <laughs> well, th I thought this would have a bit of a linen finish, but I guess not. Um, it just feels like card. It's it's actually got a bit of a, it's a more, more of a satin finish to it. You can see here this back is hard to tell in with my really crap phone camera and lighting, but um, it's a sort of a cream colour with a cornflower blue dot motif. Um, and uh, yeah, you can see there's that a little bit of the sheen to it with the light. I, I'm still having trouble with with filming these top down videos because I feel like the, the light just washes out the color with the sheen. Um, but then if I try to tone down the light or move the light, um, it just makes the video quality really grainy. So I still don't know how you folks that film top down videos do it. I think you mostly do it in natural light. And because my desk is against a wall away from the window, like there's no way for me to do that. It's really frustrating. My other option, I guess, would be to take all of my camera equipment and like mic arms downstairs <laughs> and film at the kitchen table, which is not ideal. But there we go. Um, so, yeah, I will be shuffling this because I know it's probably meant to be a collector's item but for me uh, a, a tarot deck is to be used so it will be used and like I showed you before there's this sort of little um, little white book that's sort of like a pimped out version and then the nice sort of two-part box and the, the deck sort of stands up in, in that and there's no magnets or anything it's just uh, 
just lifts off and then you've got the little handy little thumb hole so you can you can grab the deck so yeah it's nice packaging it's sturdy uh, so shall we have a look at the cards themselves I'm just going to scooch in a little bit do, 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 so we can see a bit more clearly I hope that this uh, light quality is good enough oh dear I'm hoping that getting a proper camera will help with this problem but um from what i hear lighting is also really really important but i'm like but how do you get the lighting right because it washes all the cards out anyway i'll stop going on about that now so we have il mato and the little dog jumping up to bite his pantaloons um he looks pretty chill i like that you've got the um the little sort of leaves uh, coming off from the from the sleeves he's got a little patched elbow really really beautiful um, as far as I know these um, engraved this these were made in Milan 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 um, at Milano and um, these were metal engravings rather than woodblock engravings and then very finely painted in so you can see the craftsmanship of this compared to maybe say a, a Tarot de Marseille which um, came later but had a slightly cruder method of production less um, refined less detail but was much more produced on a much more um, on a larger scale I believe so but there's a little bit about the history of this deck and its creation in, in, in this little book that was pretty cool um so ooh, we have il bagatelle and then some of these names have been um uh shortened or abbreviated for space because they um they don't have uh the room to write the whole name and actually let me just grab off of my altar hang on one of my cards from my tarot del toro so you can see the size difference i just need to scooch out again just so you can see actually let's do the front because you'll be able to tell a bit better that's the size difference this uh tarot del toro is a standard i'd say roughly a standard size deck um so this this soprafino is 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 pretty wee which is good for little hands like mine so yes anyway let's get on with it let's scooch back in come up you can see i go Ooh, extreme close up what was that from oh wayne's world <laughs> la papessa so she has a similar hat to the Pope. She's doing the, the hand symbol there. With the hand open and pointing. Cool. Hand gesture, hand symbol. The Empress. The colours are not really showing up very well in this. This looks very red on camera, but in real life, this is a really delicious magenta. And then here is almost like a the the a teal and then the green has a, is a little warmer uh it's not quite so lime it's a different it's a, it's got more blue in it it's very nice um the emperor actually do you know what i'm gonna sit down because chronic pain <laughs> uh il papa see so he's got they've got the same, same hat as the popes papes um, oh, look at this guy in the corner here looking back. That's a bit fourth wall breaking. <laughs> so we've got the lovers. Interesting, though, because we don't have two women. We have what appears to be a royal figure with maybe a knight. He's got a helmet on or a soldier. Um, and then and then this lady here, we've got the blinded cupid, the, the blindfolded cupid. Um so yeah, and then the, the, this king, I, I'm assuming, is a king. He's got the ermine and the and the crown. Has got a hand on 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 the uh, the man's shoulder. So it's interesting. Is he giving his blessing, or is he trying to stop him from marrying this this one? Interesting. The the uh, chariot, il carro. I do like the horses. They look a bit fancy. <laughs> like this one's face the uh, justice card is at eight as is traditionally done and then i love here we've got an eye right there in her collar so she's got her eyes closed but she's got an eye here on her collar 
very cool she's winged winged the hermit and his lamp isn't in a sort of any glass it's actually really old traditional lamp oil lamp there which is cool the uh, the wheel of fortune only a person and what appears to be a fox crawling up the wheel there we've got some incense burning or a torch burning i don't know La Forza, strength. Gosh, she's really going for it with that poor lion. Hanged man. Look at his face. Yeah, he looks a bit worried, doesn't he? <laughs> um, oh, the death card. I like it. You've not got any body parts, but you do have the sort of all of these indicators of status from you know swords to crowns and medals and you know there's a painter's easel here with some paint brushes a book um and a spinning wheel maybe or some kind of brush so it's it's like in a hammer i can see in the background there or some kind of mallet maybe an arrowhead there so just showing that no matter what status you accrue in life how much material um i you know how much materially you gain you can't take it with you and you know they say death is the great equalizer right um yeah i really like he looks a little shifty i like that temperance oh, i wish this um camera would show just how beautiful the colors are il diavolo diavolo devil and he's uh he's got that's interesting because he looks kind of knocked off um and he's sort of raising a fist to this sort of creature that's wrapping it, its arm around him, also grabbing at him from these flames. You've got a serpent coming up here at him. Um, and then another kind of, I don't know if it, this guy's tail or another serpent is sort of wrapped around the devil. And then he's standing on a little sort of demon type creature here that looks annoyed. <laughs> I mean, if you were having your head stepped on, you probably would be annoyed. Uh, well, it depends what you're into, I guess. Different strokes and all that. The tower. The line work really is so very fine on this. And it's interesting because the deck is so small compared to, to, to most standard decks. And yet we're really getting a lot of detail in here. It's, 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 really, it's really lovely. Um, and I can see almost here at the top what looks to be... Um, either a cannon for defense or some kind of telescope for observation i don't know and then you can just about see this little person here just reaching out trying to escape the tower the star oh my god i love the owl oh what a cutie that's lovely really like that la luna it's interesting because the water is actually over here not at the front here and the lobster is on the plate we've got two dogs rather than a dog and a wolf and can see ships in the background here and what appears to be some kind of um defense structure because it looks more sort of like i can see crenellations along the top there um and some kind of cage maybe a gibbet i don't know uh, and then what looks to be some kind of lighthouse situation here but i don't know if lighthouses existed that far back oh no because it's the 80 about 1830 this deck so yeah light, light, lighthouses were a thing i believe by then the sun and i love this because there's no baby on a horse and usually you'd have like in the like french version you'd have two children under the sun but actually i like this uh very pretty judgment card god they are stressed out i mean you would be wouldn't you <laughs> there's a giant woman with a trumpet blasting from the sky that's pretty alarming uh, the world is stunning oh i wish the colors would the, the depth of the and the, the detail would show up on my crappy crappy uh camera phone camera so we have the cups 
that is stunning as well just the it's so ornate two of cups a bit different to the marseille which would usually have some sort of information at the bottom there with some kind of banner three so then this feels a little bit more it becomes a bit more marseille-esque doesn't it with the the uh the suit um objects you know cups one swords with with these sort of floral filigrees these floral um additions the cups are really ornate each cup is very very they're all the same they're all very it's very detailed design i love that with it coming out of the cup there that's cool I'm interested to see the court cards because I've I, I, I've looked at walkthroughs of soap profinos like a, a few times over the years, but it's been a while since I've actually watched one, so my memory is very fuzzy on what the cards actually look like. Fandigop, little slip-on shoes there. Nice gams. I love that he actually looks very sort of effete he's got that sort of feminine feel to him he's wearing pink and he's wearing flowers in his hair and we would consider that a feminine now but actually until Beau Brummel came along in the 19th century men would ju wear just as bold colours and be just as um as ostentatious as as women were it was very much acceptable for men to wear floral brocades and pinks and blues and, and beautiful sumptuous silks it was um yeah very much a movement of the um victorian london no was how when did beau brummel come about was it before the queen victoria came to power was he the regency i believe he came about in the regency period um, but yeah, he sort of is responsible for a lot of how men dress today and look very samey and don't wear bright colours. Uh, Caval de Copa. He looks quite serious for a, for a, uh, a knight of cups. He looks a little concerned. His horse looks like really fab though. The queen. And the king. Cool. On to the coins. Got a sort of royal figure in the middle there. A man and a woman. And again, that deviation from the Marseille, where the Marseille and the two of coins would often have the date and sort of the name of the creator in there. Now, I have to remember which way up everything is and keep it in order because I'll need to put a dot at the bottom corner of each card um, so that I know which way up because some you know pip decks marseille decks and other pip decks will have the two at the bottom and then the third coming from it because it's two creating something new but in this one and some other decks that i have it's the other way around and it's almost like from something coming towards you so it can really change the way that you you read a card but i like to keep it the way that the creator intended um so that i can read it the way that people would have back in the day essentially the four this looks like some kind of scepter not a scepter what's the thing the orb in the middle with the cross the equal armed cross you can see five jammy dodgers they do look like jammy dodgers oh my god i'd love a jammy dodger right now looking at the time i realize it's half 11 already in the morning and i'm like mm, time to have some tea and cake i think after I film this, mm. oh, the cut. Oh, no, it's the same. Knight of Coins, uh, not Knight of Coins, uh, Page of Coins, Fandi Danari, holding his giant jammy dodger. There's a floating dam jammy dodger there. Queen. And the king looking pretty relaxed with a little cherub on his uh, collar there. I'm just going to move these out of the way because the pile's getting quite big. 
um, and we are at the wands or the batons. So you've got more sort of yellow in these cards and yellow flowers. So that's good because you're getting colour differentiation as well as obviously the suit itself. I do like it when there's a little bit of a colour code as it were. I mean obviously you've still got these other colours in here in the in the baton but you've got the flowers are yellow and what were they in the cups they were mostly uh, in the cups the flowers were sort of pink and in the coins the flowers were sort of hang on I'm trying to have a look no I can't obviously sort of gr more more greens and pinks I don't know At least here it's easy to tell which way up the card is because obviously with the Roman numerals, when the Roman numerals are turned sort of to sideways, it's harder to tell the difference. So that's something at least. Nine and ten. Speed it up a little bit because we're almost at 20 minutes. And we have... These, these pages look pretty old. I don't know if it's like just hard living that's making them look older. The knight looks younger than the page, weirdly. Oh god, this camera quality is just bobbins. She looks like she's going to clump someone with that. And the king looks rather young as well. Here we've got Lombardia on the coin there. That looks like that's been stamped on. Oh, this was a thing they mentioned in the book. It's the stamp of the, the creator. So this is an actual stamp. And then we go into the swords. And we have the curved swords, like scimitars, so it's easy to tell the difference. I love there's like bows tied around those, very fancy. Ooh, there's bows tied on this one as well. Ribbons. Five. One, two, three, four. Where's the fifth one? Oh, it's four. Oh my god, there's five. <laughs> Uh, the four, five, four and five always confuse me, but not six. I don't know why. <laughs> Seven, eight. And then we've got the more modern way of doing the numeral, new, Roman, Roman numeral, <laughs> Roman numerals with the the X minus one to make nine rather than the sequential numerals and the swords are pointing down here again i will need to put little dots in the bottom so i know which way up the cards go fun this further he's got a sword and a dagger and two feathers in his cap fancy oh uh the knight i love the horses so much in this deck they just look so extra and the queen slightly sinister sort of carved face on the on the um throne but it's got like hair painted into it as well so it looks like an actual person being squished underneath metaphorical i guess and uh the king so yeah that is the deck i am um, shall i see if i can riffle shuffle it I'm taking a risk with all these rings on. Let me take all these rings off because riffle shuffling when you've got a 12 million rings on is not the one. I'll make sure I keep them the right way up. It's quite chunky. Um, and the cardstock feels durable. It's too small to bridge. Um, it is pretty wee. It's almost, it's a, sort of around the size of the Tower of the Magical Forest when it's trimmed anyone's seen my version of that oh but it does it does um riffle shuffle together nicely and i can see a nice little riffle shufflers bend already just from two shuffles and i know it's very very it's very very slight but um i know how loads of people hate when their deck gets bent but i really like seeing my riffle shufflers bend in my decks because it shows how you know when the the gilding starts to wear away because i do love a a worn deck and some of my decks are less used and you can tell because their gilding's still quite intact although some gilding's pretty hardcore and doesn't seem to wear away which is interesting it depends on the quality of the gilding um 
and um, you know some of them don't bend as much because they I can't get a really good bend in them they don't bend as much when you riffle them together but I enjoy oh I enjoy seeing a nice riffle deck so yeah I was gonna film like a little outro but I don't think I really need to it's a beautiful deck I'm so happy to have it in my collection I am considering doing a side by side with the 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 uh Vachetta that I have so you can see the difference between these two Italian decks but I, I, I might have to wait for a month or so until I finally get my my new my new camera um and maybe some extra lighting we'll see because then I can just put the lighting higher up and not have it so shiny but yeah thank you so much for watching um I hope you have enjoyed this little jaunt despite the, the grainy uh the grainy imagery um I'm working on it <laughs> by working on it I mean I'm waiting for, until it's safe for me to go in my bank so I can deposit my Christmas and birthday money I was given in order to be able to by a, a proper grown-up video camera so yes uh thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one whenever that will be i uh, hope you're all well stay safe speak to you soon ciao